Before working on overhead or underground power lines, it's important to check for the presence of voltage to ensure a safe work environment. To do this, we're going to use STB's phasing voltmeter. This meter has five different dial settings. Capacitance tap sensing, capacitance tap phasing, line sensing, line phasing, and battery testing. Before using the meter, you should always perform two tests, the battery test and the proof test. To check the battery, turn the dial to BT. If the needle doesn't deflect, do not attempt to use the meter and remove it from service until the battery is changed and proper operation is verified. If the needle does deflect, it's safe to continue. To proof test the meter for direct line contact, set the dial to L, line sensing, and turn on the included tester. With the meter probe, depress the raised washer on the tester. The red light should come on and the needle should deflect at least one third. If the needle deflects less than a third, double check that you're in L mode. Confirming the switch setting after all tests is a good practice. If the red light does not turn on or the needle doesn't move, check the tester's battery. If the battery is good, the meter is defective and should be removed from service immediately. After testing, the meter can now be used to check for voltage on overhead conductors or underground direct bushing contacts. Just be sure that your phasing voltmeter and live line tools are rated for the voltage being tested. To check for voltage on the primary overhead conductors, bring the meter into direct contact. If voltage is present, the needle will deflect. Before starting work, test the meter one more time. Some companies utilize capacitance voltage detection for underground conductors. For this kind of test, turn the phasing voltmeter dial to C, capacitance tap sensing. Be sure to perform the same proof tests as before, but look for at least three-quarter needle deflection instead of one-third, which is what we saw earlier with the dial set to L. After testing, the meter can be used to sense voltage at capacitance test points. To do this, remove the cap on the test point using a live line tool. Now, take the meter probe and place it in direct contact with the capacitance test point. If voltage is present, the needle will deflect. Before starting work, test the meter one more time. Always follow manufacturer specifications and your company's guidelines when checking for voltage.